and uh, welcome everyone to session one of Thousand Year Old Vampire, a Thousand Year Old Vampire actual play that is being played by, um, there's not really anybody running it this time, there's not really anybody running it, it's just being played by myself and Mrs. Darewolf. To my left, right here, is Mrs. Darewolf, uh, Chelsea, my lovely wife, and uh, her and I will be taking on the role of a vampire uh, from his conception, actually prior to his conception, to his inevitable, uh, what would you call it? Like, like, like failing, fallings into madness, death, descent into senality, <laughs> descent into senality, which sounds a lot cooler than what I was saying. So <laughs> the way that we're going to be doing this uh, is we've got a roll 20 up, uh, which we'll be using as a kind of journal page. And our first part of today's session is going to be us actually building the character or be building this character. It's a human character to start with. Uh, a mortal character, so we have mortals and immortals. We're going to be building this mortal character to start, and uh, we've decided to start in, what, 4... like 410, 408? Like the 5th century. 5th century. For. So we're going, like, we're going to be in Britannia, Britain, as it were, and we're going to be playing an Anglo-Saxon who is turned by uh, maybe a Celtic vampire or something. We're going to actually discover that as we start building this character right now, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, we've got the book in front of us here, and we're going to be kind of reading through the book here about how character creation starts, and uh, we're really just going to dive into it. So the way that character creation starts here is you start with, we're going to be creating five different memories. The first memory is an idea of who your character is, where they're from, and then an experience attached with it. So an example of that would be, I'll use myself. So my name's Dare Wolf. You know, uh, I am Dare Wolf. I am from the, you know the fantastical land of Michigan, all right? <laughs> and then that would be like a memory. And then my experience would be, I like to stream Thousand Year Old Vampire. It was a dark and stormy night when we started streaming Thousand Year Old Vampire. There's an experience along with that. So that gives us an idea. So we want to start with um, really just a name. So memory one, I'm just going to put M1 for memory. Um, where's our guy from? He's an Anglo-Saxon. Um... I feel like maybe he wouldn't necessarily know where he's from because okay, doing some reading up, it seems like he's not necessarily going to be very educated. He's going to be illiterate. So I feel like maybe he doesn't necessarily know where he's from. He was just thought, hey, get on this boat. We're going raiding. Yeah. You know, get in the boat, bitch. We're going raiding. <laughs> get in the boat, bitch. We're going raiding. I love that. Get um, in the boat, bitch. And, you know, going so... Raiding. So he, you know, for all he knows, he got in a boat. He went, he went on a little trip. And now all of a sudden he's in a new land. With some new folks and some bad things happen. I like that. So we've got a we've got actually got an Anglo-Saxon name generator on screen number four, uh, which we're looking over to right now. I gotta be honest, Chelsea. I gotta be honest. I'm really leaning towards Wolfred. I don't know. It just feels right. You know, Dare Wolf, Mrs. Dare Wolf, Wolfred. <laughs> it just feels like it I works. I feel like you just kept hitting random until you got to that. I mean, I did. I mean, I'm not, I can't, I can't lie that that's exactly what transpired is I kept hitting the random generator until I got Wolfred, but I can always hit it again. If you'd like me to hit it again, we can hit it again and see if there's I something. Feel, let's, let's hit it again, see if we All come right. up with something better. All right. It looks like there's a second Wolfred right here. There's not, by the way, there's no Wolfred here this time. There's no Wolfred. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, Baldwin? I wouldn't mind Edric. I think that could be a fun one. Edric? Wait, wait, Edric? Ooh, that's a good name. I feel like Edric. I like that. So... Let's go with my name is Edric. Um, you could do the Wolfred uh, as the last one. Wolfred, uh, Wolfred could be like a, a surname. We're, well, we're gonna do. He may, but does he have a surname? That's true. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's just. Maybe he's just. Maybe he's just Edric. Yeah. You know, I am a warrior um, raiding a distant land. Maybe that would be the memory because that's like yeah. where he starts. So I am. Uh, let's see. So my name is uh, Edric. I am a warrior. Raiding. Edric, son of wolf. Ooh, <laughs> sidereal day. I like that. By the way, that's Mimi. Edric, oh, uh, Edric son of wolf. Uh, oh, my name is Edric, son of wolf. I am a warrior. Oh. You can spell so good. I can. Warrior raiding distant lands. Oh, man. I can't spell for crap. This is. I should have you typing. Uh, I should have you typing this up because my 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 writing is is horrible. Does it have a spell check? It doesn't have a spell check. <laughs> so how do you spell rating? R a d r a d r a i d r a i d i n g. Yes. Okay, I can spell distant. I just was I'm making sure you could. <laughs> distant lands. There we go. 
All right, so this is memory one. Uh, my name is Edric, son of Wolf. I'm a warrior raiding distant lands. And then now we need a, so we need an experience attached to that memory. So as you're building your character, you will have opportunities where Edric Wolfson, that's a good idea, Kathura. I like that, Edric Wolfson. Maybe we'll go with that. Um, yeah. Actually, I am I'm Edric, son of, what is it, Wolfson? Wolfson? I'm Edric, I'm Edric Wolfson. I like that, Wolfson. There you go. Yes, I'm a warrior raiding distant lands. I'm a warrior raiding distant lands. There we go. I'm actually gonna make this just a little bit bigger, so hopefully it's easier to see. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can see it a little bit better now. Hopefully everyone at home can see it. So I'm, my name is Edric uh, Wolfson. I'm a warrior raiding distant lands. Now we need an experience tied to tied to that tied to that memory. So it's an experience tied to the memory. Basically, like something that happened while he is raiding the distant lands um um maybe like as he's coming ashore you know okay so he's getting off the boat mm -hmm. probably some water in his shoes sand not good on a good time i like that so maybe he's and like, then you so... know he's seen this 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 new land that he's eventually gonna end up going home i like that so e1 or is he planning to stay there or is he planning I, to leave mm, i don't know what, what what would you think i feel like if you're growing up as a raider I don't know if you're necessarily planning on staying at the place where you're going, but you know, obviously, if if he's gonna get turned into a vampire, things we land, went wrong. Uh, we land on a sandy uh, beach. Um, something maybe like we land we land on a uh, on a sandy beach. In the distance, I see smoke rising from a. Well, I'm assuming he's going to have all of his comrades around him, so he's probably got a lot of hustle and bustle. A, we land on a sandy beach. Uh, my fellow warriors. Alongside my, alongside me? Yeah, I don't know. My fellow warriors. Um, alongside me. I like that. So there's his experience. So he, his name, my name is Edric Wolfson. I'm a warrior raiding distant lands. We land on a sandy beach, my fellow warrior is alongside me. I like okay. that. So perfect. And now we need another one, I'm assuming. So now we need another memory. And so as we're going through So it's gonna be one the one memories. experience per memory. Yep. One experience per memory. Um so this would be a memory. Probably like his first raid. Yeah. Yes. Um so let's see here. Something about so the memory would be Ooh, let's see here. Um, well, is he raiding? Like, is it just a home? Is he raiding a town? Thinking, what are we thinking? What about like what about like a like a like a monastery or something? Like they raid a monastery and they find like gold and treasure. So it could be our first raid. Um, like our first raid is a is a a monastery or something like that, or is a uh, it's is a, a holy place. It's for a the, stone building. It's a stone building. My first of... raid. Full of relics, building. both human and full of relics, both human and uh, what would be a good for word? Both human like, and uh, items I don't and know. gold, both uh, both flesh, uh, of both flesh, of both flesh, of flesh and uh, flesh and gold. <laughs> I like flesh and gold. But like that's the old men there, yeah, right? Yeah, you got I the like old, the yeah, old, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. old monks, and then you've got the. I think I think an experience to define him. At, so is he? So is Edric? Is he like? Is he brutal in his in his like? Is he feel? Does he feel any sort of remorse, or um, is he just like? This is his life. Does he revel in it? I I'm feel curious. like. I feel like there has to be some kind of disconnect between like. Not necessarily viewing the people that you're killing and obviously pillaging. Mm -hmm. Like, they are they wouldn't necessarily be on the same level as him and his buddies. So, kind of like how, you know, the Romans would have viewed them as barbarians. Well, they view these guys as just like, you know, little soft, fleshy man people. How about the coward wearing a wooden cross begged for his life? Yeah, I like that you one. You like that one? Uh, that that could be the memory. Okay, like that. Good, good, good. So let's see. Here. So first we've okay, got okay, maybe like the coward wearing a wooden cross beg for his life, and then we could extrapolate on that because he's gonna be Norse. So 
um, you know, should we tie in his his beliefs with that? Mm, begged for his life, um, which I sacrificed to Odin. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Which I. You can spell. You can do that. I... S A C. Hold on, hold on. F A C A C R A F I S T to Odin. There it is. That's funny. How do you spell sacrifice? I definitely butchered that. You know what I spell sacrifice? Yeah, it should be F I C. Sacra. F I C E D. I can't really read what you're holding, but. Okay, I can there unfold it. There, there it we is. Go. All right. There we go. We did it. All right, we did it. Yay! You did <laughs> it. You're doing it there, Wolfie. You're doing it. That's okay. good. I love that. There it is. All right, so. Uh, my name is Edric Wolfson. I'm a warrior raiding distant lands. We land on a sandy beach, my fellow warriors alongside me. My first raid is a stone uh, stone building full of relics, both flesh uh, bo uh, full of relics, both flesh and gold. Coward wearing a wooden cross begs for his life, which I sacrifice Odin. Sacrifice to Odin. We wanted to, I think I want to do everything in like the first the person. Present tense. Yeah, that's what it recommends in the book. It recommends do everything in like the present same tense, tense, first like first person, same tense to keep it keep it going. All right, Sounds good. Let's do another one. So we need another memory. Another memory. How many memories are we doing now before we get uh, into a vampire? So you do what we do is you do your starting memory, which is like who you are, uh -huh. where you're from, and I should leave a little space because we can add up to three memories for each of these. Three experiences. Three experiences, per, experiences memory. per memory. Yep. Add a little bit extra space. Might have to make this a little bit smaller. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it we'll out. It I work. have faith. I have faith in me. All right. Oh, uh, sacrifice to Odin. And then we need one more experience. Uh, or so one more memory. We need uh, actually two more memories because we have one, two. This will be three. We need four memories of him as a mortal. And then our last memory, which we do after we uh, give him skills, characters, and resources, mm -hmm. he gets three of each. So we're going to pick three skills that feel you know thematically appropriate to who he is. Okay. We're going to pick three characters that are like, like it could be lovers, comrades, brothers, parents, whatever it might be to like have and then as the story progresses through the actual prompts then we can maybe sacrifice those or they get marked off or checked and then you run out of certain you know if you run out of things your vampire ends up dying yeah so it is what it is but okay so let's take a quick peek here my first raid is a stone building full of relics uh sacrifice to odin it doesn't like that all right sacrifice my sacrifice <laughs> Sacrifice to. Oh, it's it's an uh, not second A is an I. Oh, Mimi. Oh, the next one up. Mimi, don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. Here, I did. What? No, they both need to be correct. That's I did it. I did it great. <laughs> I'm doing a great job. All right, so we need memory three. Memory okay. three. Um. Here, I've said nothing. Mimi <laughs> said everything. She's she's sitting there she's silently judging. judging us. Silently judging us. Okay. So memory three. What's a good memory? So we did like a fight. Do you think you would have gotten injured at any point? Ooh, as a human? that could be interesting. That could be interesting. He gets injured in a battle. Let's see here. Who who would he be? Maybe a memory of a battle that he was in. Something where. Ooh. What you thinking? My brothers. And I. That's father. <laughs> brothers and I engage in battle with local warriors. All right, so that could be the memory, and then I think experience one. I'm thinking something about like I'm kind of imagining like a description of like a Celtic warrior. Which, if I remember, I was doing a little bit of reading and research. Like the Celtic warriors had like they could do like the face paint and like tattoos and stuff. Like Mel Gibson. Like kind of like a Mel Gibson style, you know. And then like they moon him yeah. or something. No, we're not gonna do that. That'd be terrible. <laughs> but I'm thinking. War something along the lines of like um a man uh tall as a tree, face painted blue, um cuts me deep. 
and I I am wounded in battle. Something yeah. like that. Like that. Warrior as tall as a tree with a face did blue wounds me me deeply wounds me uh in battle i like that perfect okay i like that i think i think, I think okay, we're, okay. Making, we're making headway we're making headway all right now we need one more memory we need one more memory that uh is prior to him prior to him being a vampire. becoming a vampire prior to him becoming a vampire okay. that is correct um. Okay, well, so far we have three kind of tied to a reading. Reading and battle. What kind of memory could we give him that's not tied to a read, reading? Like, you know, what else does he have as a person? You know. What is he? What he's very one dimensional right now. Yeah, right now he's just very much murder kill mode. Kill mode. So we could tie off, we could tie into. What happened after this particular battle because imagine that all of this is like taking place pretty soon after he arrived yeah, right yeah yeah these are all pretty quick these pretty are like quick the significant succession. successions right so maybe this takes place a, like months later uh maybe they have maybe they've created a, a life there maybe they've like like maybe this maybe this is like the first three like the first well, first one is like where he's from who he is uh-huh then the first two are kind of him getting there and then the last one, maybe his band has settled. Maybe they're maybe they have a homestead that he's made, you know? Um yeah. and we could be like um uh something along you the lines say, of you could do something like, you know, though the people of this land are weak, the land itself is fertile. Uh people though the people I like that. Though the people of the land are weak weak. Land is fertile. For F I R F E R T I L E. -R -T -I -L -E. Yep. For tile. Um I I take take a I take a wife and build a home. Would he marry a, a Kelter? Maybe. But did he marry a Kelt? I don't know. Or did did he bring someone from home? He married one of his fellow warrior women. That's true, that's take a wife and and what kind of what, what what should we name his wife? Because she can be one of our characters. Yep, we can name the wife. Um. So that could be memory, and then I think what about experience? What if he has kids? Yeah, you can maybe some kids. How many kids? Roll, yeah. roll a d six or something. You want? I can. You know what? I can roll a d six. I do. We have the technology. The technology. One d six. Two kids. Two kids. Okay. Yes. Um, easy peasy. My wife. We need a good name for a wife. Um. Do you use your Anglo-Saxon name we'll do generator? Do the Anglo-Saxon name generator. We gotta do female name. Oh. Uh. We could do Anglo-Saxon. What about? I like that. Okay. How about Alkeld? Good wife Alkeld. I have two children. Uh. Thinking. thinking doing that one uh that's okay um hubert like that yep. let's do hubert okay and then we'll do like a boy and a girl hubert and that's male here hubert and oh, is, is that ali red i would that... say let's keep going for one week more now one. okay birthwin birthwin bergwenta bergwenta Okay. Ooh, I like There's that. You have two children. Uh, we're in the birth, birth, birth Maybe Wenta. put an and or something. Birth Wenta. Birth and Birth Wenta. I like that. Boom. Okay. All right. So we've got characters. Uh, we have L K E L Elkled, my wife and mother of my children. That. We have Hubert. Mm -hmm. 
my only son and what would be like a good phrase for like and like the like my like the blood of my the blood of my kin or something like that yeah you can do that like uh my only son and blood of my kin and then Bergwenta, uh, um, my only daughter, and I would say my only daughter, and then nothing else. <laughs> oh, you could say something like, uh, only daughter, and let's let's give him some kind of personality here. Yeah, my only maybe. daughter, and so she, you could say, like, my only daughter. Um, as curious as she is. Curious and um, beautiful. He needs a personality. Curious <laughs> and, um, too smart for her own good. Okay. I like that. Boom. Okay, how many characters do we need? So we get three characters. We also have skills. He has to have skills. So skills are kind of vague in the book. Like, there's no skill we just, list. We just pick something? We just pick, like, stuff. And, like, so examples they give are, like, bloodthirsty. You could do, like, uh, like um, fighting. You could do um, sword play. You could say farming. You could say tactician, you could say like leadership. I mean, you could do like, you can be as vague or as specific as you want when it comes to skills. Okay, but we're, we're gonna be having to use these. Well, these come up and you can call upon them as you're going through like, like the like you're actually going through the prompts for the vampire. Like okay. all we're doing right now is just building this basic character so that we can like then throw him into the chaos that is his unlife, as it were. Well, <laughs> um... We could have him be like I'm mean, obviously he's comfortable with some kind of seafaring. Sailing? Maybe not sailing, but like rowing. Rowing? I don't know if they would have relied on the wind. That puny wind. Like pretty sure they would have relied on the wind. <laughs> like I yeah. sailing's been around since like okay. the dawn of time. So yeah, so he's he's like 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 the Egyptians were sailing. Okay, they sailed <laughs> up and down the Nile River. Right, I've read some history books, okay? I kind of know what I'm talking about. It's kind of a big deal Okay, here. so... Sailing. How about how about we go boating? Boating? Boating. <laughs> he sounds like he belongs in a country club. He does. <laughs> boating. How about seafaring? <laughs> R. F. A. R. S -S okay, like normal fairing. F. A. R. I. N. G. Seafaring. <laughs> That's a good skill. He has seafaring. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... What kind of weapon does he have that he could be proficient-ish with? He fight with an axe? I think he's a phalanx fighter. I think, like, he came in, like, because, like, the Anglo-Saxons, they, like, they were sort of, like, Vikings, right? Um. Like, am I, am I crazy? That could be a good question for the Google machine. Yeah. Anglo-Saxon. Anglo-Saxon. Who were who were the Anglo Saxons? <laughs> were they were a Germanic. cultural group who in, inhabited England in the early Middle Ages. They traced their origin to who came from Britain, mainland Europe, in the fifth century. However, the ethnogenic genesis of the Anglo Saxons happened within Britain. The identity was not merely imported. Germanic, Germanics, they're the German. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I said that. Okay, I don't think you said that at all. That sounds <laughs> totally made up. Why do you why do you try to be so, like, why do you try to just steal the limelight here? Like, I know it's your first time on stream, but, like, come on. So Google says, weaponry, weaponry in Anglo-Saxon England, spears for piercing and throwing were most common weapon. I was thinking spear fighter. Yeah. Can we do spear fighter? They also did sword, axe, and knife. So. I'm gonna go spear, spear fighter. They were not one for the, uh, the ranged, uh, bows and arrows and slings, not. Spear fighter and... I need one more. Okay. Animal husbandry. <laughs> okay. You want to do that? Sure. He's got himself a couple chickens. Uh, Cows. Did I do it right? Husbandry? Did I say that? You right? did good. Oh, yes. 
All right, resources. What does he have? Um, well, I would say he maybe has a spear. Spear, okay. <laughs> he has a spear. Um, gift, a gift. Uh, I want to like give it a little bit of character. Gift from my father. Father's okay, spear, okay. yeah. Okay, father's spear. I'm thinking because you like so resources can be items. They could be they can they can be like specific like my father's spear. It could also be like I like I have a Roman legion under me. Like that's like you can. I get, don't like, think he's bang. gonna have a Roman legion. I'm not saying I'm giving it as an example. Like like you can have these different things. That's all I'm saying. Like does he have some cattle? Ooh, perhaps we could be we could be even more broad and be like homestead. Yeah, he does have a homestead. Homestead. Uh, in. In the hills. We'll keep it vague. We're not exactly sure where he is. Homestead in the hills. Okay. Maybe maybe once they he you know learns how to read. Yeah, he can't read. Right <laughs> he now. can't. Our, our, our boy is illiterate, unfortunately for him. But we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him there. We're gonna get him there. Uh, homestead in the hills, and we need one more, one more resource he can have. Um, homestead. Um, does he have some kind of um, like token or something related Ooh. to his gods? I like that. A what kind of stone cool? icon of Odin? How about that? That yeah. works, right? I like yep, that. I would say. Cool. Okay. He's a fairly religious okay. fella. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller so that they fit. I might have to make these slightly smaller so they fit. Okay. But uh, I think we're going to, I think we can work with it. They give us so much room for skills. I feel like they could like, well, you do add them as you go along. <laughs> All right. Now here's where things get a little dicey. Okay. All right. What do we got? Here's where things get a little bit oh, dicey. That's so way too small. That works. That'll work. I can read that. We'll make it work. All right, let me make this. Two, six, this, 40, six. Okay, we got this. 40, 56. Okay. All right. Now. We need another memory. Memory five. Now, memory five is That's the big memory. Okay. Memory five. You know what? You're so you're so critical of me on everything that I do. This is what I deal with, everyone. This is what I deal with on a daily <laughs> basis. Just critical. So memory five is specifically, if you want to actually go back to character creation in the book, memory five is specific to your the actual turning when our person turns into a vampire. And the way that this works is that you you create the vampire, and then the vampire has a mark. So we have to do a memory of when and how it happened. So, so it could be something as an example of, um, you know, I'm traveling along the stream to my homestead, see a man unclothed, naked, covered in blood. He lunges at me. And then the experience, uh, I, you know, then that would be like memory was like I awaken with a unquenchable hunger. Then the experience could be something along of like maybe his first time he feeds. That's just as an example. Um, okay. So who do we want to turn him, turn him? Is my question. Who do we want to turn him? Is it someone he knows? Um, is it someone that uh, is new to him? Um, what are we thinking? Good question. That's a right? great question. I know. I have, I have very many questions. I mean, would it would it be someone who came over with him, or is it going to be someone who? Ooh, it could be someone that comes over with him. Could be interesting. Ooh, let's get a let's go back to our English. Could, is it someone that he happens upon, or do they happen upon him? You know, is it? How about hear me out? See my brother, like brother in arms. See my brother in arms, Winford. His eyes. Are wild, beast like. That could be the memory. It experiences him actually getting. Yeah, that would work. Like that. See my battle brother. Mm. 
His eyes are wild like a beast, and his skin, skin, pale, pale as. Well, it. Hmm. Now it has. Has Weird been a vampire for a while? Is he a new vampire and just doesn't realize what's going on? I'm thinking he's a new vampire doesn't realize what's going on. Um, so maybe his skin is clammy because, you know, he's, uh, you know, going through a pain. Like beast, skin, clammy. <laughs> clammy. Strangely moist. The skin is strangely moist. Uh, oh, you know what? His face covered in blood. That is his face covered. It will be he are covered in oh, blood. I, if it, his face, we could say like you could even do you know his face is wild like a beast. He's covered in blood though. I see no. Ooh, I like that. His uh, his eyes are wild like a beast. Uh, he is covered. In, uh, he is covered in blood, but I see no wounds. The memory uh, and the experiences. Uh, something. So I'm thinking. I approached him. I approached. Uh, so I approached him. He lunged at me. As I as I approached, he lunged at me. With a virality not often seen out of battle. And not often seen out of battle. Skip some. Uh, uh, as I neared him. He lunged. Lunge at me a with a F E R A L I T Y. No, that is mm. you, you spelled it wrong. Oh, Miss <laughs> Kelsey misses. I can spell everything correct. Oh, look who doesn't know how to spell anything. Got her. Ferality. Ferality? That's not a real word. You made that up. Google F says it's a real word. A L I T Y. Ferality. Oh, maybe it just it doesn't know it. There we go. Ferality. Not seen out of battle. He bites me. He bites me. And I pass out. Um, it's a real word. No, it's not, Mimi. Don't make up don't make up <laughs> out of battle. He bites me. He bite or is he gonna like maul and like he how, mauls me? How how extensive are we having these? Um I think this one needs to be a little more extensive because like it needs to I feel to... like it's not gonna just be one little bite if he just turned. Like he's not uh, as I neared him, he lunged at me with her ferality, not seen out of battle. He moles me. Me. Uh and I th I think my and I th and I think myself uh I think myself dead. But I awaken. I would say I think myself dead and mourn the loss of Bahala because he's he's not dying in battle. And well no, he's not never mind, I think in Viking. Dead. That's yeah. not quite. And I think myself dead. I pass out. But Awaken with new, with a hunger I have never felt. Yeah. Felt. All right, all right. So this is our this is our most intense one, which makes sense because it's the big one, right? Yeah. So I see my brother, um, Winghard. Uh, his eyes are wild like a beast. He is covered in blood, but I see no wounds. As I neared him, he lunged. Lunged at me. Yeah, it's lunged at me with a ferality not seen out of battle. He mauls me, and I think myself dead. I pass out, but awaken with a hunger I have never felt. All right. 
cool, cool, All right, cool. now so we need a mark. We've got ourselves a vampire. Well, we need a mark. We need a mark. This mark identifies him as a vampire. So okay. marks could be something like, um, you know, his his neck was broken and or like carved open and it never healed. It could be something, okay. we, and we we can determine. It could also be something like he can turn into bats. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Okay, so it could be anything from an ever bleeding wound on the throat, mm -hmm. eyes that are blank and white. A trailing specter, a ferocious scar, a hollow abdomen full of rats. Wow. That's aggressive. The imagery. Um, examples. A pair of great bat wings. I cut them off with a saw, but stubs remain. My eyes are hypnotic, so I must wear smoked glasses. A dark halo I cover with tall military hats. Under the moon, my shadow takes the shape of a jaguar. Animals fear, fear me. Children cry. I become my, I can become a wolf or a rat, and I have hands with fingers bent into backwards claws. I wear long sleeves to cover them from view. So what kind of horrible thing does he have going on? Well, the whole turning into a wolf and a, and a rat thing seems helpful. The rest of them seem terrible. <laughs> do we want to give him a leg up with his mark? Oh, I don't know. Or do we want to um, make his life difficult from the start? That is my question for old... Well, if he's getting mauled Edric. by a wizard, um... What kind of mark would that have left on him? Uh, which of us is an English major again? Definitely not you, Mimi. You're not an <laughs> English major. You've never Englished ever. Um, you know what? What if, like, he lost an eye? And, like... Full one-eye Eldrick. What if he lost an eye and, like, it... Like it, uh, like his eye got slashed out, but it like grew back. He has like, like it grew back and he has like a, like a, like almost like a, like a beast like eye, like a cat eye. He's got like a normal eye and then he has like a, like a strange cat eye and it's like blackened and like nasty around. Like, like he's got a perpetual black eye going? Like he's got like a perpetual black eye and the eye looks more like, not serpentine, but more like, like line in nature yeah so, so he like he a... wears an eye patch to cover it up okay you like that so Except at night when he needs to see real but it gives him night vision uh, is it? maybe i don't know okay i like that half at half. The... So, my so i have a, bl a, bl a black eye black eye i would take like perpetual black eye Can you still... i cannot okay e r e t so Black cat eye. Um, and then, like... Uh, I, mean, can... I would say, like, black cat eye covered with a patch. I was just checking you. All right. So we have officially... We have officially created our vampire. We have officially created our vampire. So this is the character that we will be playing... As we go through our adventure. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do our first prompt. So I need you to flip the book, Chelsea, please, to our first prompts. Okay. All right. Playing the game. Keep going. Yep. Slipping. Flippy flips. Prompt in. Passage of time. The prompts. Yep. The prompts. So good. All right. All right. All right. So oh, gosh. Someone's gonna I'm going to add the year is 410. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be 410. 410 seems kind of early. I feel like we need to go for like 460. 460. Boom. Done. Year is 460. My name is Edric Wilson. What a guy. All right. What so, bird. what we're going to do is so you start at one, but we roll, and that determines how far forward or how far backward. And we can't go backwards. So, if we roll negative, then we just do prompt one. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I'm rolling our vampire roll. Oh, oh I have to change his name. Uh, I have our I have our little character set sheet here, which I have to change. So Edric Wolfson. Wolfson. There it is. All right. Edric Wolfson. Save. All right. So I have our little token selected, and I'm gonna vampire roll. All right. He rolls a four. He rolls a four. So we're going four 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 prompts forward. Four prompts forward. So that puts us at five. Puts us at five. Okay. Oh well. How much? 
Are you sure? The first one was you murder someone. The second one is you murder someone. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, okay. so go ahead and read the prompt. So we've got, do we take the, one of these three options we get to pick from? No, you start with the first option, and if you ever come back to that prompt, then you go to the then second Then you go option. to the second one. That oh, right. Yeah. Well, you murder someone you love or respect rather than let them expose you. Kill a character. Check a skill. If you have no living characters... Uh, kill no one and create a beloved mortal character who you have betrayed. So which of our three oh my God, characters? That's horrible. So we 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 huddle nice. back to our homestead, and someone there is about to expose us, and we have to murder them in order to keep our secret. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So you murder someone you love or respect rather than let uh, them expose you. Kill a character. Check a skill. You have no living characters. Uh, kill no one and create a beloved mortal character who you have betrayed. Oh. So who are we gonna kill? Or is it gonna be our wife, who oh is God um, mother to our children, our one and only son, or is it gonna be the precocious daughter? Oh my Like God. every Hallmark movie has. That's horrible. I know. Do we wanna? How do you undo, do it? Maybe roll D three. So this would be like an experience. We have to write an experience for it. Terrible. I mean. To me, I feel like I think it would be most heart wrenching, personally, if it's his son. You think it's gonna be the son? I feel like he's like he like he like he. This is right after he turns. Mm -hmm, he, mm -hmm. Maybe he wanders the woods for a few days. Makes his way back to the home. Makes his way back to the home. His son is like, Papa, where have you been? <laughs> and he murders him. Like. Or, or is it, you know, he sees something's wrong and he goes to run and fetch help. Yeah. Like, you know, he sees, sees, sees dad wandering out of the woods. Yeah. Looking all wonky. So he goes to try and run for help. And oh my God. So We terrible. have to chase him down type of deal. This is depressing. It was starting off great. Yeah, starting off real sad. Uh, E2. Um, I return home. Home. Um, after unknown amount of time. Yeah. Um, after what may have been weeks. Um. As I exit the woods, my son. Exit the woods. Sees me. My son. Son sees me. The end. Rushes to my aid. I am unable to control my hunger. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily that we can not control our hunger because it's a it's a conscious choice to uh -oh. you you murder someone you love or respect rather than let them expose you. But I hate that. Okay, I hate well, it so much. That's what the book says. I hate it. It's so terrible. Why would he kill his son? He loves him. Um. Oh. So he's he's coming back from. Oh, I hate it. From his horrible sabbatical. Yeah. And, Something's going my on aid. where his son is about to expose him. Yeah, he rushes to my aid, but soon realizes what I have become. He runs towards what a neighboring homestead for is. So like, um, uh, as he, as well, because what? Who would who would he run to to try and expose us? Would it be towards the family that we already have, or would probably. it be towards someone else in the community? Probably like, probably like towards the family they already have. So he's gonna run towards mother. He's gonna he he runs towards our home, but I am faster. So what he calls for his mother and runs towards the home. My aid soon, but soon realizes. Okay, so what, he okay so he sees you and fear fills his eyes. Um, so wait. I would say he sees me. He's not going to run towards us. I return home for for from for after what have been, must have been weeks. My son sees me, and his eyes and, fill with fill with fear. His eyes fill with fear as he runs towards the home, crying for his mother. Silence him. Silence him forever. I would, yeah, that's the way to say it. Well, now I'm sad. <laughs> there it is. Now I'm sad. I don't know what else to say. 
All right, so that didn't take long. <laughs> uh, though the uh, though the people of this land are weak, the land is fertile. Um, I wife, my I wife, my wife and I. There it is. My wife and I make a home in this new land. My wife, um, Ekeld, and I have two children, um, Hubert and Rigwena. I return home after must must have been weeks. My son sees me, and his eyes fill with fear. As he runs towards the home, crying for his mother, I silence him forever. So maybe cross out Hubert now. Cause... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we do have to. We're doing our first cross out, uh, which is a real shame. Um, so Hubert, Rip. you lived a very short life and are now dead. So that's where we're at. Good job. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Good game, Lord. You are dead. Okay. All right, so um, what next? That was horrible. All right. Well, let's uh, more let's to come. roll a. But but wait, my friends. There's more. All right, so let's roll our vampire roll again. We got a three. We go three, so forward. three forward. Yep. Oh, so God. up to eight. Up to eight. Okay, well, you were recognized for what you are by another creature like yourself. Create an immortal character, lose a resource, and gain a skill. What did we lose to them? Ooh. So we come across another, another vampire. Should it be another vampire? Or well, it's could, another... should it be something else? Okay, you are recognized for what you are by another creature like yourself. So it's an immortal another vampire character. Ooh. So what, what vampire have we come across? Good question. Is it going to be... Oh, your lines are all messed up now. It's not going to be all messed up once I hit enter okay, again. And okay. I, can, I, can, I can fudge it. So we have, another, um, we have another immortal vampire. Is it going to be... Um, could it be a so could it be like a um we could maybe spin this in a good way all right hear me out hear me <laughs> out spin this in a good way maybe it's a mentor kind of like interview with the vampire style okay okay somebody that can maybe help him what kind of what are we thinking celts roman anglo-saxon Ooh. maybe it's a maybe it's an uh maybe it's an, an uh, roman a roman okay who, who stuck after the romans exited in 410 right around 410 we read some history Name generator. Hold on. Roman name generator. Old Roman name generator. Old Roman name generator. Okay. What kind of fun old Roman old name Roman. generating? Um, Domatilla. I like that. Okay. Domatilla. I like it a lot, actually. Okay. Oops. Made a mistake. I've, Control I've made that. a horrible mistake. Huh? All right. So oh, this guy's name is Dom Attila. Dom. D O M. <laughs> also, a Roman. Ro Ro a Roman vampire. A Roman legionnaire who did not um, retreat with his comrades. Uh, Roman. Roman legionnaire and vampire. You just keep it. Uh, how do you spell legionnaire? That's maybe one to try and Google copy and paste. I'm gonna be honest. Legion. Mimi, help us out here. Legionnaire. <laughs> uh, Legion two, yeah. Legionaries. Words all seem made up because all words are made up, right? Roman legionnaire and vampire. Roman Roman legionnaire, vampire. Thanks, Mimi. Talk and, to you. And. Mentor. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Uh, We've got ourselves a mentor. Minus one son. Plus minus, one mentor. Minus one son. Plus one mentor. Look at us go. Look. It's, it's a net gain of zero. That's okay. A, well, I mean, no, that's... A, I feel like we... I feel like he can come in handy. I feel like Domatilla is going to come in handy, but we still have more to is do. Is he going to fill that hole in our so, heart? But we lose something to him. But it is a fair trade for a vampire. We lose something to him. Yes, yeah, so we're going to lose a resource and gain a skill. Um, What kind of resource are we going to lose to him? We have a father spear, homestead in the hills, or stone icon of Odin. Well, realistically, I feel like now that we just murdered our son on our homestead... I bet you the wife and daughter left. You like think they're going to leave? I think they're going to well, leave. Well, we still have them as characters, so we'll see what happens. But I, mean, I feel like, you know, now that we have a dead son on our property, maybe we don't have that property anymore. I feel like that's a good one. Like, let's cross out cross out the, the property. I like that. Homestead in the Hills. The dongle. That's gone. And then we're going to gain a skill. What kind of skill are we going to gain? 
And then we also have to flavor. I think I'll put this under memory five. Like we can either put it under memory five or we can do it under memory four. As a continuation. As a continuation. One. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, what, what skill is he going to teach us? Uh, what would be a good skill for him to have? Well, let's. Um, Ooh. Something, I, I'm thinking something along the lines of being able to blend in. Like something along the lines of being able to like, 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 like blend into like, cause he's, he's been, so the Roman guy, he's been a vampire for what, he, like 50 he, he's years been here now? A yeah. Right. So he's learned to survive. Yeah. Um, so he's learned kind of how to not die. <laughs> right. Maybe like, uh, you could just say something like survival, but that seems too vague. That I want to be more, vague. I want to be more specific um, with it. Something along the lines of like. Does he teach us how to be a traveler? Like, um, or does he, you know, um, what, what is, what is the Roman legionnaire doing that now that he's no longer a legionnaire? Hunting, eating. Like, is he now a wanderer? Um, have we, is he going to teach us, you know, how to be able to walk into a town? What kind of skill would that be? Does he? Teaches him to be mortal. I want something along the lines of like something along the lines of like like that like he te I I want him to teach him how to blend in with like with mortals. Okay. Um. Or could be maybe something as vague as like he teaches teaches him piety. Piety. I'm not a bad idea. I kind of like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um. The quality of being religious or re reverent. I don't know if that's if we're too early for that. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. Ooh, loyalty. I like that. Piety, because it could be like, like it could be like, like he teaches him to be, like loyal. To himself and to other vampires. So he teaches him piety. I'm going with it. I love it. Okay. Pietas. We're going to call it it's Pietas. Okay, we only want to put piety in parentheses so we remember what it is. Or you need to just like specify afterwards loyalty to other vampires. To my. I there like that. Go. That's good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Love this. Love. Everything about that. We love now, that journey we, for him. So wait, do, do we do everything? So we lost? Yep, so, okay, we're recognized for what we are by another creature like mm -hmm. yourself. Good old Damatilla. Mm -hmm. Create an immortal character. Okay, we lost our resource, our homestead. Mm -hmm. um, and we gained a skill of piety. I love it. I guess we're going to roll again? Five. Five forward? Another positive one. Okay. Story is getting wild. Oh, no, we forgot to do our, um... Oh, we forgot to add that in. Yeah. So where are we going to put it? Under there? Experience three. Okay, so maybe, um... So we could say... After fleeing my homestead, I come across another vampire who... Basically tells him he can't go back. But introduce okay, but t tells me I can't return to my family, but int introduces me to a new family or something like that. He he tells me I cannot return to my home. He helps me, but I can find camaraderie. How about this? He helps me forget my old family, embrace my new one. Mmm, that's a yeah. good one. I like that. We do still have those two other characters that are probably going to... Well, they're there, but... They're probably, probably going to die looking at how this is going for us. I mean, they're they're probably going to die, and they're probably going to, like... Like, because as time passes, like, who knows how many years have passed. That's true. I mean, if, if we don't get them, time sure I'm will. thinking all of this has transpired inside of, like, a year. 
Like this yeah. is all pretty, pretty, still pretty, pretty, fresh, pretty right, recent. Right? Yeah. Okay. So interesting thing, we can no longer add memory, add memories, experiences, experiences to, memory. to memory four. Okay. We've capped it because it's one memory. You can have three experiences per memory. All right. Cool. cool so if cool. we want to add more memories, then we now have to flip. Well, would that something. be? Would this experience go under that one, or would we, would we want to put it under where he got turned? Because he got turned. Ooh, that's a good point. I'm wondering if this experience should go under that memory, because this is an evolution of his vampire. Vam I'm thinking vamp under this one. Vampirism? I like vamp vampirism. <laughs> vamp 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 Vampirity? Vamp Vampiritidus? <laughs> vamp 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 vampiritidus. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I'm going to put that under that. Um, And then that leaves room here, and it leaves room here yeah. as well. So I like it. 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 All right. Um, right. Let's see here. Uh, what's number? What's our next one? Number thirteen. So we're going with generations of the same family serve you. This line starts from any living mortal character or from the descendant of a dead mortal character. What bizarre rituals do they tie to their servitude? Lose a resource and create a servitors of the lineage resource. Oh. So someone, whether it's someone related to our folks mm -hmm. or someone related to. <sighs> Anyone. Oh. Somewhere along the line, we have... I think we need to time skip. A generational. I think we need to time skip. Okay. So hear me out. Hear me out. This can go under memory four. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. 100 years in the future. He's been hanging out just straight chilling in Britannia with his boy, Domatilla. Just eating, feasting. He comes across someone... And this is just kind of thinking a little, like, you know, broadly. But he comes across someone that reminds him of his daughter. He, the precocious daughter. He quickly realizes that this is the descendant of his daughter. And thus he... Or maybe it's like a token or something. Like, you know, maybe he carved a necklace for his daughter and it's been passed down. And yeah. he recognizes it. Yep. I'm a stranger. I'm thinking he loses the stone icon of Odin. Okay, okay. Which he grants to his descendants. And basically, his daughter's descendants become his. What was the term? His servitors of the lineage. Yeah. What was once a precocious child is now. It's going to be under a resource, though. The resource. Yep. It's uh -huh. so we're going to lose a resource and create a servitors of the lineage resource. Uh -huh. So I would say the children of uh the children of Bergwenta Bergwenta yeah i love it i'm going to do it as a servitors of the lineage Bergwenta u r g Bergwenta u r g Bergwenta and then i would maybe um annotate that that's a Servitors of the lineage, because I don't know how important that's. Oh, that I don't know. Servitors of the. I spelled that wrong. Okay, S E R V I T O R S of the lineage. L I N E A G E. Maybe like put them. Yeah. Parenthesis. I will do. I'll do a parenthesis. A parenthesis. Parenthesis. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, there we go. Servitors of lineage. That's good. Perfect. All right. I guess. Make your lines work. Again. Yeah. All right. Hey, whoop, boop, a doop, boop. Well, we can fix this. I've done. I've I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Perfect. It's good enough. Good enough for government. Hold on. You're just gonna do new lines. Oh, it's nice. gonna bother you that much. Don't bother them. The douche. The douche. Done. Perfect. Okay. And now we need a memory tied to that. I think that should go under... Under that one? Under this one. Alright. Um, so, maybe like as he's walking through a town near where I once used... where I once lived? I meet the descendants of... I don't, I don't know what's called descendants. D-E-C-E-N... D-A-N-T-S? No? No. Spell it for me. <laughs> Descendants? Descendants. No, it makes me think of the Disney movie. There's a Disney movie? There's a Disney well it's so it's following the children of the villains. I meet the, the descendants movie. of my 
mortal. I would say of my daughter. Yeah. Frequenta. I give them the stone. They come to serve me. Okay, yeah. So I would say, yeah, they come to serve me, and I give them the idol I carried from uh, our homeland. Give them the or I icon. icon of Odin. There we go. In full page. In super full page. Good. That means I think that I think that means we're doing it right. We're supposed to be filling this up like crazy. I can always mm -hmm. slide this down a little bit. Right there. Give okay. us a little bit more space. Good. Right, right. there. Perfect. All right. So okay. Moves. Have you been marking which ones we've done already? That's a great question. You should have asked me a little bit ago. I mentioned that. You have to mark them. <laughs> we can go back. So first one was a four. We're going number one. Whole thing on there. Later. Well, you can save it later. Yeah, we just mm -hmm. want to. I want to mark which ones you're done. Because if you come back to one you've already done, you have to go to the next thing in the list. Mm. That's where you're at. Well, this is not the murder. Yeah. The murder one. We brutally murder our son. The apple of our very eye. quickly. That, that got violent and sad really quick. Real fast. Like it went real fast to like dark dark. So we went from five to I believe it was. That eight. was the whole thing. Eight. Yes. Was that one? What was eight? Next was prompt eight. What was prompt eight? Where we met Donatella. We did, but I like Donatella. You know what? He makes me okay. Donatella makes me happy. Donatella keeps making me think of Donatello yeah. and eating pizza in a sewer. But maybe wanna, that's what we did for a hundred. I want to make. I want to make it sure it's. Uh, the year is. The year is. I'm thinking like maybe like like six ninety. I mean, yeah, that that works. Like it's been a while. It's been a, it's been definitely a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Uh, okay. That is wild. All right. Okay. So it's six ninety. Uh, we started off in four sixty. Mm -hmm. We've been around for one hundred thirty. No, well, we're probably like, well, one hundred thirty year old vampire at this point, which is hog wild. All right. Um. I'm thinking we do two more. Okay. For tonight. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds we'll good to me. We'll see, what, well, we'll see what happens. Or maybe we'll just die. <laughs> it might just, the vampire might just end. All right. So I'm going to do another, do another roll. Ooh, minus five. Now we can go back and do the next one. <gasps> on that same page? Because we were in 13. You got to go oh, back. Dang. Then we're going to do the next one on the list. We're going back to prompt eight. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. First, first one. Okay. Okay. We gain an advantage over an immortal character. What do you take from them? What do you learn? Convert a memory to a skill. Strike out that memory. Gain a mysterious resource. Whoa. So somehow we got some dirt on Domatilla. Girl, oh. what'd you do? So Donna, so we're going to cross out a memory? And then we have to cross out a memory. What? But we convert it to a skill. Um, so what, what kind of dirt do we have on Domatilla? Did he, was he the one that turned? Wigard? Or what if he learns? So wait, so we have an advantage of a mortal character. So somehow we get some kind of dirt on Donatella because he's our only immortal character. Yeah. What are we going to take from them? What do we learn from this? And then in the process of this, we're going to convert a memory to a skill, and then gain a mysterious resource. Oh, what if, what if he, what if he doesn't know how to turn others into vampires? Arbro? Arbro. Like, he okay. thinks, he thinks that only, maybe he, Donatella has convinced him that only certain vampires can turn others. Oh. Right? And he learns that he's been lying about it. And maybe there's a couple of the vampires hanging out with them. Yeah. He learns that and says, I will expose you unless you give me more power. So maybe they're part of like a vampire den. Like they've got some kind of hierarchy going on. They've got like a hierarchy. 
he becomes the leader of the new vamp of the vampire coven. He's gonna be the new cult. He's the new cult leader. <laughs> okay, so somehow Damatilla has convinced the whole family of vampires that yep. only he, the Roman vampire, yep. can convert others. Yep. And maybe you know, one day we're laying in bed, we're contemplating our life, mm-hmm. our experiences. We realize, wait a minute, weird wasn't Roman. Yeah. And the puzzle pieces start falling together, and we uh, we're three. gonna confront. Yeah. Damatilla. I for the lion snake that he is. The lies of Damatilla. Damatilla. Uh, I too can create new members of our kind. Um. And dethrone him. Um, I would say, okay, I too can create new members of our kind, period. Okay. When I confront him about this... Confront him. Confront him. And... Um, and threaten exposure unless he gives me the respect I deserve. Unless he, unless he gives me the respect I deserve. I become our something like that. How's that? Yeah. Does that work? Okay, cool. We're about to cross this one out. Yeah, so we're going to cross out memory um, five is yeah, now a guy. Cross out memory five. So what I'm thinking... So we're going to convert that memory to a skill. What skill do we now have? Leadership. Okay, that's Ooh, good one. ooh. How about spawn creation? I, I'm not a fan of that wording, but yeah, we can call it that. <laughs> okay. Um, so what is it? Uh, so we need something like, uh, like, uh, like to create. You just call it a very loose recruitment. Oh, we just call it recruitment. <laughs> Vampire recruit. That's a whole thing. Vampire <laughs> recruitment. Just gonna headhunt some new bro. I'm putting that in quotation marks. Vampire <laughs> recruitment. That's a thing. Um, all right. And so this gets crossed out. Yep. Mm-hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this color to white. Oh, I'm I gonna... don't like Okay. I'm gonna drag it up to here, which it's kind of off the map now. It's off the map now, but everyone at home can now see it. I'm dragging it. And what I'm gonna do is i want to leave some space here for us right well what we could do hold on hold on i got an idea all right what's a good way to do this what do you think what should i, I do? would just take the whole memory and make it a different color make that make the text for it not white so it's still legible but maybe make it like a dark maroon or something so this is Red, like that. That memory like it's is essentially striked out, but yeah. still legible. Yeah, it's just we need more space for new memories. Well, we can move it if we need to. We can. Move it um, when the time comes, we will. When the time comes, we'll create we a memory jump. Oh, I can make it all. I can make it white. Right oh, down here. There we go. Wow. There you go. Boom. Okay, and now okay, we've converted our memory to a skill. Now we get a mysterious resource. What kind of mysterious resource have we taken from Damatella? Uh, what what kind of thing does he have as a leader that is now ours? Does he have maybe a book or something? Well, we can't read, but the sire's blood. Oh, right. <laughs> I kind of love it. Okay, we don't have to. You have another idea. <laughs> I know you just hate that word. Well, no, I'm just thinking that, like, does he have a book that, like, if, oh. if the rest of us can't read? Oh, is he even, can, is he even, can he even read yet? Well, I think it's been a minute. So maybe, I think he can read. Maybe he's not read in the last uh, 160 how about, years. How about 130? How about the Vampire Bible? Okay, yeah. That was Vampiric Tome. <laughs> Vam, Vampiric. Nope, it's gonna say Vampire Bible. 
T-O-M-B-E? Tome? T-O-M-B? Is that right? It's tomb. T-O-M-E instead of a B. Ooh, ah, tome. Toma. Toma. <laughs> Toma. All right, the vampire tome. I don't need to space these. All right. Maybe just do with bullet points. Uh, okay. I think that works right there. Skadoosh. There it is. All right, perfect. Okay, uh, now we have a space for new memory, which is pretty sweet. Mm. So we can start creating new memories. Um, sorry, then now. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, you can't start creating new memories. This memory is struck, struck out. Yeah. We have an opportunity when we move into a different thing, if we need to. We can make a memory. We can We've create got a new memory. Yeah, that's true. Um, the amnesia has started already. Well, what's crazy is that now we can't reference this anymore because basically yeah. he's like he's like because like as it goes along you slowly we don't remember start Wigard to, at all you start slowly start to forget like he doesn't remember Wigard anymore right he doesn't really remember how he was created he just knows he can create vampires it's been a hundred yeah. he also doesn't years. remember how he found Damatella what Damatella did for he him. doesn't find Damatella anymore because it's like well he he, he knows rage. Damatella but he doesn't remember how he found that's true how he met him and he hates him yeah like, now hates what was it. once a Beneficial relationship yeah. is now maybe a rivalry. Yes, a, 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 a vampire and mentor for now. We're not going to change that yet, but maybe yeah. not a mentor anymore. Um, all right, let's do, I'm thinking one more. Okay. You want to okay. do one more or do you yeah. want to do two more? Let's play it by ear. Let's play it by ear. All right, we're going to do one more <laughs> for now. Six forward. Six forward? Okay. So on to 14. Yes, you have to mark the second one on the I already did. I put times two. You're doing God's work. Doing something. <laughs> All right, read it. Okay, an enemy character uses a lost resource to turn your few friends against you. <gasps> Betrayal. Check three skills to regain the resource or check one skill to barely survive. Which former friend did you kill? Where do you flee? Oh. Did Dama Trilla betray us right after we betrayed him? He, well, I guess we we usurped him. He absolutely does. That lion bastard. He absolutely does. And I'm thinking I'm, we're going to put this under... The battle brother? Under the battle brother. Uh, where he got injured? Because yeah. he, this is another kind of injury. It's an injury yeah. to the soul. So, okay, okay. Read that again for me. So... Okay. An enemy character uses a lost resource. So is he going to use... Um, our homestead in our in the hills against us. Mm -hmm. Um, he's gonna use something. I mean, because we gave the the icon. It's what he. It's what we would have given him. Oh, so, you check three skills to regain the resource. So, I mean, if 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 we used exposing him as, like, hey, we're able to turn vampires, and then he turns around and goes, well, why didn't you turn your son, you doofus? Because he can expose the fact that we murdered our son in the homestead. Yeah, and turn it against us. And he could he could potentially turn the children of Burgundwenta against us, knowing that we killed. Knowing that we killed their great 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 uncle. Great 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 uncle. Great great uncle. Great 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 uncle. Great great uncle. That's true. Many times great uncle. All right, so we have to check three skills. Or check one, three skills to regain the resource, which would be the homestead. Mm -hmm. Or we can check one skill to barely survive. So how important are we feeling that we need to get that homestead back? I don't feel like it's that important. So do we just lose? I think we should check Spearfighter. You think Spearfighter and not mm -hmm. um, the piety? Oh, are we going to lose our loyalty? Because if he's going to if he's gonna throw us under the bus, why, why should we still look out for him? That's a so let's let's lose piety. Well, we're not losing it. We're just checking it. We're we're using it. So yeah. if you lose a skill, it's when you cross it out. If you check a skill, it means you activated the skill. Okay, so if we're going to activate our... I'm thinking Spearfighter. Spearfighter, you think? Yeah. Okay. Boom. That's a beautiful check. Thank you. I, I practiced, like, earlier before we started. I just <laughs> want to make sure like, I could do it right. There you go. Uh, okay. okay, so Damatilla um, is using our past, the shit that went down at the homestead against us. Um, we're using our spear fighting to barely survive. We're gonna murder Domatello. Yep. Did. Um, and where are we gonna flee? So. Um, I so I would say after exposing Domatella, 
Um, okay. Yeah. You could say I've exposed Damatilla. Um to our brother in. However, in turn, he told I've exposed Damatilla to our brother in. But in Retribution, he, he... In retribution for his expo exposure to our brethren, he turns my... He's, he's exposed my deepest shame. He exposes my deepest shame, and for that, I slay him, but barely survive. Yeah, I would say... Um... It's Damatilla. Um, Read a shame. So that I kill him. And flee. So where's he gonna flee now? I think you should head into England. Head, head inland? Like, uh, no, I think you should head away from England. I think we should take him, like... Continent? Ooh! And head back to the lands of my forefathers. Of my mortal forefathers. Okay. And flee back to the lands of... My mortal or Okay. Oh. I mean, realistically, like, I think the children come with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vampire Tome keeps his father's spear. We use a spear fighting. Domatilla is dead. I love that we don't have, like, a name for the children. They're like, oh, yeah, you're just Bergwentis children. They're the Bergwentins. <laughs> They're the Bergwentons. It's good. You have no right? separate identity. It's the Bergwentons. I like them a lot, actually. That's super fun. All right. Well, I feel pretty good. I feel like good. that's a pretty good spot to start. Because, like, like, it's him, like, traveling off into... And that also gives us a chance to look into what the heck was happening on the mainland. Uh, What <laughs> what year do we want it to be? Do we want it to be a little bit farther along? Um, okay, or... where did we last leave, leave off? Uh, the wife? last big one was 690. Okay, okay. So maybe go with... Um... 720? I like 720. I like 720. That's, that's a good one. Um, okay, so uh, maybe okay. I, in in the year of, uh, um, I would just end with my mortal forefathers in the year 720. Yeah, in the year 720. Yeah, uh, in 720. 720 AD. Yeah, I like that. That's oh yeah. Seems like a good spot to stop. I like it. AD, 690. Damn. Okay. We've got a lot done. A lot of murder. A, a lot, lot of murder. murder. A lot. That guy, I mean, we're definitely playing into the whole, like, he's like a warrior kind of person, which I think is pretty cool. You know what? I wasn't sure what to expect with this game. I kind of like it. It's just we got some just, heartbreaks and betrayal. We like, got a real um soap opera going on. It's that it's I have a I feel really like it's a soap opera. Like he's been through a lot. Uh, and thank you, um, Kura. I really appreciate it, man. I I think this is cool. I'm excited to see where we take this. And uh, I can't believe it's already been like an hour and twenty minutes. Like that didn't feel that long. Um, and normally hanging out with my wife just feels really long. No, I'm kidding. I love, you. <laughs> love you very much. All right. No, that was awesome. So um, as uh, as I always say at the end of every session uh, to myself and my players, any final thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns before we get ready to wrap up today's episode, episode one of Thousand Year Vampire? Go team. Go team us. All right. <laughs> but as I always say at the end of every session, I just want to say thank you so much to the players for playing, myself and my wife. Thank you so much to the viewers for viewing. It was awesome to have some of you hang out with us here today. If you're catching this on the VOD, go ahead and drop a subscription there, a subscribe as it were. Uh, don't forget to drop a like. And uh, if you're not a follower on Twitch, hop on over to Darewolf Gaming 88 on Twitch and give me a follow. You can catch one of our live streams. We've got multiple going throughout the week, both uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays now, at least for a little while, Saturdays and Sundays. But until next time, 
Be well, be safe, and happy gaming.